Ahoy shipmates, my name's David, I'm a marine engineer in the Merchant Navy. This is a short video about the life of a marine engineer. This was based upon a three week trip which I did on a PSV which is a platform supply vessel. I sailed out of Aberdeen and spent a few weeks on this ship and really enjoyed my time. Hope you enjoy the video. After some security checks at the port, it's time to get on the vessel. On the bridge then, just giving all the documents to my captain to check over before we set sail. By far the hardest thing for me on this trip was the weather. On a small vessel and in the North Sea during winter months, uh, being seasick was quite common. But I stuck at it and in the end I had a really good trip and uh, met some really good people. Alright, I had my shower all the week, wide and awake, kind of. Uh, gonna get a quick, quick breakfast and then uh, head down to the injury room. Breakfast of champions. Yes, exactly. Well, have you got a cigarette and a coffee? Cigarette and a coffee. <laughs> Best way. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, all set, ready for action. It's time to go have a look around the engine room. This is the ECR, which is the engine control room. This is where most of the machinery is monitored and controlled. The next part of this video is going to be an engine room tour. A large part of a marine engineer's time is spent watchkeeping. This mainly entails looking after machinery and rectifying any problems should they arise. This room is known as the bow thruster space. The thrusters help control the ship's position. Here we are now in the workshop. Remember guys, always put the tools back, otherwise you're gonna get an angry second or chief engineer yelling at you, telling you that all the tools are missing. Like a hotel, a ship requires a boiler, sanitary systems, refrigeration, air conditioning, and others. This is the switchboard room where the electrical energy created by the generators is distributed to other components around the ship. Heading down the stairs, we now get to the generator platform. Common pieces of machinery you can find in an engine room include generators, oily water separator, different types of compressors such as piston type and rotary, and different kinds of pumps. The following footage shows a journey from the main engine room through the cargo space and then into the steering room. Here we are now in the steering room. 
this is where the ASI pods are located. This kind of vessel is known as a diesel electric type where the propulsion is operated using electric motors. The propulsion also serves as the steering. There are a number of tasks which need to be completed by the marine engineer daily. For example, you can see me here flushing the sewage vacuum pumps. It's important to flush these every day with fresh water to maintain the correct working condition. Other daily tasks include Draining fuel tanks Draining air bottles to remove moisture and oil Checking oil levels of various pieces of equipment and topping them up should they need it. And finally, checking temperatures and pressures. So after a few days of sheltering uh, in the Shetland Islands in Scotland, we're now leaving uh, the location to head towards the platform to do some cargo operations. Uh, so it's been nice having some calm weather, but now it's time to go back into the North Sea proper winter weather so uh it's time to take some seasickness tablets and to pray to poseidon to be kind to us as previously mentioned i was working on a psv this vessel was supporting platforms in the north sea the support includes removing old used materials and also supplying new materials from shore transferring fuel and other liquids such as brine. The support operations can last for a few hours and take place over a period of a few days. Once the operations are finished and everybody's happy, the ship will then head back to Aberdeen to get rid of the cargo that they've picked up and also load new cargo ready for the next set of operations. So it's time to head back to Aberdeen now and hopefully get some decent shore leave. in wonderful Aberdeen. Beautiful. Uh, this is Cookie, this is Cadet Wilhelm. Lovely. And uh, Lovely. we're gonna have a wild time in Aberdeen tonight. <laughs> Lovely job, Luke. What is it, a Monday, what is it a Monday <laughs> night? Monday night. Monday night okay. A Monday night in Aberdeen. Okay. Let's go for it, lads. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! 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 What do you say to that? Perfect, thank you very much. Is that everything you dreamed of? Oh, can't wait. <laughs> mm. Beautiful. So, it's been Asda, bit of a walkabout. Ah, time to head back to the ship for another week of uh, fun. There she is, the beast. The beast of the east. So, it's now the... 12th of December, no, 13th of December, yeah, 13th today. So I've been away from uh, Novita and Zavaya almost two weeks, and 
probably I have another one week, one week to go, and hopefully I will get home and uh, get to spend Christmas with the girls. So it's my first time on this kind of vessel. I really, really having a good time. It's a different kind of engine room. The job is good. The food has been good. The people have been uh, some of the best I've sailed with in terms of yeah, just having having fun. Uh, learning and also being professional so it's been really really good experience I'm glad I did it it's only gonna be a short trip but uh, it's definitely consider this kind of uh, position in the future but yeah I'm really looking forward to see the girls uh, it's one of the best moments about you know best things about being a seafarer is when you finally get off the ship pay, pay off day and uh, get home see your family can't wait gonna get a big hug and a big kiss it's gonna be awesome and then hopefully enjoy a good christmas one of the main questions i get asked about is what is the food like on board now it depends on the company depends on the ship depends on the cook um this trip the food was very good good quality food the vegetables were good the cook put a lot of effort into making some decent food but really it all depends uh, each trip it can be different sometimes it can be very good sometimes it can be very bad also, it depends on the length of the trip. You know, some of these cooks will be on board for nine months. So you can imagine uh, your motivation starts to dip a little bit, you know, especially when you start missing your family. You know, nine months is a really long time to be away. This is nice chicken, by the way. Yeah. And uh, your, your, dill, your dill lemon cream sauce is very good. Yeah, on the fish. What else be on? You just want me to hurry up so you can clean, yeah? <laughs> One of the other questions I always get asked is, what do you guys do in the evening? Well, there isn't an awful lot to do, but here's a list of some of the things we get up to. Playing music badly is number one. Watching TV. Eating food and getting massive. And finally making new music videos. I'm gonna cook and make beans. I'm gonna make beans and beans. I'm a gunly boy. So, one week left till I get home. So, super excited to see the girls again. It's been a fun trip. Uh, so far, the weather's been much better the last few days, so we can get some good sleep. Even managed to watch the football last night. Uh, yeah, so one week left, and uh, get to see my sweet little Zaya and my beautiful wife Nadia. Uh, it's almost midnight here now, so time for sleep. And uh, yeah, last week of work, boom. So last week went pretty quickly, uh, got most of the maintenance jobs done which I needed and uh, that's it. So now guys it's time to get ready to go home. So just got new confirmation that got my flight details. So uh, it's time to clean the cabin, start packing and uh, get ready to see the, the girls, Navita and Sweet Zavaya. So let's give this cabin a good, good clean for the next guy. Alright guys, there's full steam ahead, get back to Aberdeen so I can get home. So, taxi's on the way. It's time to say goodbye to young engine cadet, also around his galley boy. <laughs> can we get one last? Come on. <laughs> uh. I wanna wake up with you in the morning. Turn this room, turn it to an ocean, let me float around. 